internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. Got to tune up the volume here, and I'm here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, but I've got a guest that I've known for a while. We have some commonalities in life, and she lives on the central time zone, and her name is Vashon. How you doing, Vashon? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you, Brad? Good to have you. Good to be here today. I a lot of times I do this thing so people turn up their sound. Can you hear? Because <laughs> sometimes they don't. You know, they just scroll through stuff, and they don't have their sound on. But anyways. Oh, that's great. So how is it down there in the southern part of the United States? Yeah, I love it. You know, I, I actually, I grew up in Texas, so I'm a Texas girl mm. uh, by birth. But I tell you what, I've been in Missouri now for seven years in the southern part, the beautiful part uh, of Branson, Missouri. And I, I just love it because we got trees and mountains and I'm right on the lake. And uh, we're supposed to get up to 60 some degrees today, which is unusual wow. for January. I'm really excited about that. I've got a magician friend down there that has Intrigue Theater. Have you seen that on billboards or anything? No, I haven't, but I'll yeah. have to check it out. Yeah. yeah, he does a thing on the paranormal and all the mind reading and oh, stuff. Fun. Pretty, pretty cool. Ghost stuff. So let's hear more about you. You're married. You got kids? I do. I have two sons. Ooh. I have an 8-year-old named Jack, and I have an 11-year-old named Ty. And they're off at school today, so you won't see them coming in and out of my office. Uh, but and then I have a wonderful husband. We're newlyweds. We it'll be a year in March, Yay. and his name is Ron. And uh, both of us are martial artists. We actually met through the martial arts. Uh, he is a karate master, as I am myself. We both uh, have a dojo as a hobby business, a brick and mortar business, yeah. as well as our online business that I run. That's a commonality. I know that we met through some other business things, and that was uh, something that drew me to meet you because I've got a black belt in Taekwondo and been doing it since right. 1975. So that's, that's a good thing. I, a lot of people think of like the martial arts as being violent and everything, but I've never been in a fight because of it. Right. So, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's mean, I... <laughs> really about being a peaceful warrior, as yeah. you know, Brad. I mean, uh, true martial arts. I mean, obviously there are those those groups that really focus on on fighting, like being a fight club, but that's not us. We're traditionalists, and we appreciate the mind, the body, and the spirit of it. And personally, I've never had a confrontation myself either, yeah. nor has my husband. And I think it's because you learn to have peace and to not put yourself in a situation where you might have to use your martial arts. Totally agree. Fantastic. And it's helped me in other areas. In fact, it saved my life. I was able to do a flying sidekick up high enough so I didn't get hit by a car. I would have got hit in the wow. waist, but it hit me in the calf. I got up high enough so it didn't, you know, direct hit. So it saved mm -hmm. my life, really. And it's helped me with balance and it, it helps in business, the persistence. Because, you know, when you test for your black belt, you go through a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of getting beat down and you got to stick with it. So it helps you in entrepreneurship. Keeps you, you know, <laughs> slow and steady wins the race, right? So. Yep, yep. No, there, there actually is a quote that I read somewhere about martial arts where it said, never tell a black belt to surrender because we don't know how. We don't know how to quit. No, <laughs> so, you just keep, keep I mean, going. Part of being a, a black belt in any martial art is perseverance and sticking it out. And so I think it really adds to entrepreneurship because mm -hmm. part of, you know, there's ups and downs, as everybody knows, in having your own business. And it, it requires that perseverance and dedication where just that never get up, uh, give up grit that we have as martial artists. Well, that uh, one of my mantras is uh, you can't fail if you don't quit. If you keep on going forward, I mean, people are afraid of failure, but you can't fail if you don't quit. So you just keep going that's forward right. and it, that's life, you know. Now, I know that your thing is like team tough because that's what does tough stand for? I was just kind of curious. Oh, sure. Yeah. So I, you know, tough, obviously the martial arts kind of played into that, but tough is an acronym and it's T-U-F-F -F, and tough stands for tough as in, you know, more mental toughness than mm -hmm. anything. Tough, unstoppable, because you have to truly believe that you can get through any challenge that comes your way. 
fearless because the greatest enemy of success is fear, mm-hmm. right? And then finally, if you have those three things, I believe that you'll reach freedom. And that's what the final F okay. stands for. And it's tough. It's spelled T-U-F-F. So I was curious because yeah. I saw that online with the periods after it. So I knew it had to mean something. It wasn't just putting periods between letters. There was some kind of acronym for it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. And all of the people that we attract in, in my business tend to have that type of personality. They have this mental toughness and an unstoppable ambition towards life. And they are big into overcoming their fears. And, and because of that, I find that that group of people, we tend to live a freedom lifestyle. You know, we do the things that we want to do rather than having somebody dictate our lives. Well, that kind of goes into my next question. That is what, what is it that you do? And I know you do the martial arts, but I think you're also uh, like a business coach, things of that sort, entrepreneurial, help people understand this, uh, this, this digital domain. (laughs) Sure. Oh, no, absolutely. You know, two of my loves obviously are the martial arts, but the other is the digital world. I've always been very into technology. And so I formed a business around digital marketing. So what I do is I do everything from business coaching. I teach other entrepreneurs how they can utilize the the internet, especially social media, to grow their business and expand their market share. And then I also work with people who perhaps want to become an entrepreneur and they're not really sure which avenue to take in order to get there. And I show them some ways that are you know, the cutting edge. They're the, the newest ways that you can earn a living by working online and having a portable business, which is really, I think, the direction a lot of people are going these days. They don't want to be strapped down right. into that industrial age system we've been in where you're stuck in a cubicle and and uh, your, your time is limited. You rarely see your family, your spouse, your children because you're working so darn hard for the dollar. Yeah. They would rather have a little more freedom in their life. And that's what I've learned to do with my own life. And I've since been sharing that with others and helping them to overcome those obstacles and challenges to build a business around their passions. Yeah, that that's kind of where I got into this. I used to, I mean, I've always been self-employed. And then I started a business where I was producing events and it got stressful and I had a mild stroke, mm-hmm. which was a shot over the oh bow. Oh, goodness. And it, mm-hmm. uh, I said, I don't want to die in this office. I told my business partner, I'm done. I'm not going to die here. And that's when I got into the whole digital thing. And that's how I met Rhonda. And it's interesting. It oh, all came yeah. through the internet. You know, this whole freedom mm-hmm. concept. And I mean, Rhonda's over right. in what, Bali, you're in Branson, I'm in Minneapolis. It's amazing <laughs> how we can all connect digitally like this in real time. It's fascinating to me how stuff can scale and everything. So mm-hmm. I don't like to do these too long because people do have their either their jobs or they got their business sure. or they got their family. So I don't do them too long. This is just like an introductory to let people know that uh, you exist and I exist. And then I propagate it out <laughs> to YouTube and then I embed it on blogs and put it out to different parts of real estate on the internet. So before right. I ask my favorite question, why don't you tell us how, if you've got any upcoming programs or anything that you can offer of how to learn to do what you do as far as this digital age thing? Oh, absolutely. I appreciate you asking that, Brad. So I actually have a number of digital products that I've produced or I've partnered with others to produce. Uh, the, the one that I feel is the, the best to really share, uh, we call it Two Tough Chicks. And I partnered up with a friend of mine named Kim Justice, and we put on a multi-million dollar mastermind, exclusive mastermind for a group of 17 people. And uh, we did this in a mansion out in Nashville, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. We put it together. And during the mastermind, we had it recorded, but we taught them all the way from Step one, how to build your own brand and find your passion all the way to how to put all the little pieces together to build out your own online business. Got it. And uh, it's, it's just a great package that we put together. We had it professionally recorded, like I said, and it's available for those people who couldn't attend our multi-million dollar mastermind and, and were able to now watch it digitally and learn the same skills and techniques that, that were taught there. We had many different coaches come out to help. One that was a you know, seven-digit, seven-figure. Before earner. you uh, share with how we can connect with that, I want to share one thing I think is really important, and that is I use an analogy of a combination lock. You know, you you know to the right, 36, 11, 21. If you know <laughs> the combination, it's easy. 
But if you don't know the combination, it's almost impossible. So I think it's really cool that you you kind of walk the path and blaze the trail as a pioneer, and you can kind of share, give us the combination. And uh, that, that's what it takes because really this internet marketing stuff is a lot easier than people think, but they go through and they go, how do you hook up an autoresponder? How do you do a capture page? And you got to learn all that stuff. Why not go with somebody that kind of already walked the path, right? <laughs> oh, exactly. You know, it's so much easier. It's just like in the martial arts and you know, we have that connection. It's very difficult to learn something without a teacher. Yeah. You know, you, you can read all the books you want, but you're not going to become a master martial artist <laughs> unless you have a good teacher. Well, it's the same for any business you want to go in, especially in the world of in the world of online because things are moving at such a rapid yeah. pace. Technology is always evolving. It helps to have a teacher it's on the cutting edge of that and can really uh, help you navigate that and, and do the right thing for your right. business. Yeah, a front kick hasn't changed much over the years, but a capture page has. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. So it's Facebook. Great analogy. So how do, you, how, do you, um, how do we get a hold of you for, with, that, with that program? Oh, sure. Yeah, that, we have a website specifically for uh, the mastermind, and it's called Two Tough Chicks, and it's the number two. Okay. So too tough and tough is T U F F and chicks is just like the little chick, but it's plural C H I C K S. And Got I it. can send the link if you want to post that. Yeah. What uh, I, you'll see. I will be putting this on YouTube and all that. So yeah, I definitely love the link, but it's good to hear it also. And uh, some people don't realize it, but this stuff gets uh, transponded into YouTube and stuff. So that those words are actually in there. So it's two number two tough chicks. You got it. And there's okay. all the information there and a video that we put together to explain the program and how it might be able to help you in, in your life in building out a portable online business around your passions. Okay, cool. So here's my favorite question, and that's the big why question. Why is it that you're doing this kind of stuff as opposed to why aren't you like a waitress or why aren't you like a ski <laughs> instructor or why aren't you like a tour guide in Branson showing all the blue hair or the stuff around town? <laughs> 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 well, you know, I think you really have to follow your heart and think about, you know, what are your strengths? I mean, everyone, I believe, is born with a natural, innate talent for certain things. And for me, number one, I've always enjoyed teaching. I've always enjoyed helping other people. And so that kind of led me into the martial arts and becoming an instructor there. It also, with computers, ever since um, our family as a small child bought their first computer, I was always tinkering on it, figuring stuff out. And I thought, wow, this is the latest and greatest. This is where things are going to be going. Even then, I felt I knew that that was a future that I wanted to be a part of. And so it's like all of those things from your childhood come together. And it makes you realize when you really connect to that, who you are and what you want to be when you grow up. And that's, that's why I've become who I am today, and I, I continue to evolve. So it's, it's a mm -hmm. wonderful life. Well, very cool. Well, again, I don't like to do these too long, so I'm going to sign this one off and beam it up to the cosmos and let people find it. <laughs> so I appreciate you taking the time this morning to be on Synergy Cafe and with us in this Synergy Collaborative. So <laughs> if you want to hang out, we can chat after this. Other than that, I'm going to sign this one off and put it in the can, as they say. So peace. Thanks, Sean. Right, thanks, Brad. Take care.